What's up, Evoke fam? I'm hanging out in Vancouver, and I'm gonna bring you a little tips and tricks video about cleaning today. So you will see here behind me, I have this gorgeous yellow chair. We have these all over the place, and there's actually a blog about sitting in the yellow chair and how colors will do things to your brain to make you happy, and yellow is one of those really happy colors. So we wanna keep our yellow chairs really bright and happy looking. So we have to take care of them. And I was doing this the other day and it was pretty hilarious what you have to do to take care of these. So I'm gonna make a little video. Tips and tricks for your yellow chair. So first thing we're gonna do is roll up our sleeves. Time to keep our place happy and clean and bright and yellow. Grab yourself some gloves. Grab yourself some gloves. I love the black gloves because it makes me feel like I'm a tattoo artist. Getting ready to tattoo somebody in the yellow chair. Okay, got my gloves on. We need this gorgeous leather cleaner. You can order this on your restock wine list from Baron. He has it, so you can use it. So you're gonna need some of this. Your gloves. You're gonna want a microfiber. This is better because it doesn't absorb as much of the cleaner and helps the cleaner stay on. And then to take it off, we're gonna need a big old roll of napkins. Grab a whole thing, cause you're gonna use it. All right, leather cleaner. This stuff you should apply liberally. Hold on, we gotta get, we gotta get it closer to that. Apply liberally your cleaner. Oh yeah, get it in there. Get it in there. See how pretty that looks? Ooh, yeah. Woo, just another one for good measure. Woo. All right, get your little microfibery sponge off and just work it, work the sides, work the middle. Get your elbows in there. These, there's lots of little gunk in these little buttons. All the seats have little buttons. Get the sides, get the middle, get in there. Make sure to spread it all around. We're just coating it and we're gonna let it sit. So goopy. It's hilarious. It always makes me laugh. Goop, goop. All right. And don't forget the backside. Since you've got it spread out there, we're gonna grab our goop again. Get your goop again. Okay. More. Woo, woo. Don't forget the backside. And. I usually come into work once a week, like a half an hour early to get this done because it's going to have to set. So I put the goop on, take the goop off, clean the floors while I'm waiting for it to set because it needs about 20 minutes to dry before people can sit on it. So getting in there, get all your sides, bam. Now it's nice and slick and covered in goop and it's going to sit. So I'm gonna let that sit there while I goop up my other chairs because I've got two more to do. Welcome back. So this has had some time to sit. I had my other chairs gooped up and now that it's had time to chill, we're going to remove the goop with a napkin. So you're gonna need a whole roll of this. And by the end, you're just gonna have a pile of goopy napkins and that's gonna be funny too. So again, getting in there and you wanna make sure you get all of that goop off. Really get in the little buttons on there. Get that goop gone. And you will start to see dirt coming out. That's so satisfying when the dirt comes out. And there's little creases in here, so you really have to get in those creases. This is a good workout for your core. 
and if you need to another workout plan, if you want a good workout plan, we have some people that do that, that work for us. Hallie does workout stuff. Thomas is, loves to put workout plans together for people. Me, this is how I like to get my workout. With some goop, a nice leather chair, and a whole roll of paper towels. Okay, if you did it correctly, you should be a little out of breath and you should have a lot of goopy napkins. But look at how shiny the chair is. Ready for people to sit in it and be inspired. And if you're not cleaning your leather chairs regularly, at least once a week, especially during high traffic times, start today. Help each other, get out of the goop. It's kind of fun.